if black people still vote Democrat after finding out this information, I'm about ready to say there's absolutely no hope. Hey, Warriors, it's me, Linda B., and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. So today, I am going to do a reaction to another Vince Everett Ellison video. This man, Mr. Ellison, is a powerhouse. He's an author. He's got a documentary. He's a lecturer. He's got a documentary called Will You Go to Hell for Me? You guys need to see it. You can go to willyougotohellforme.com. Now, it is purchased. It's not free, but it is worth every penny. And we're going to talk about what the Democrats, we're going to talk about that today, what they've been doing to the Black community for decades. And I don't think a lot of people know this. Some of you know. And then I've always wondered, like, what happened with this particular thing? We're going to talk about it today. But before we get started, I need you guys to remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Watch the video all the way to the very end. Hit the notification bell. I'm on my way to 20,000 subscribers by the end of the month. And you can follow me on Rumble. Chat with me, Linda B., but it's all one word. Chat with me, Linda B., on Rumble. There's no censorship on Rumble. Email me at chatwithmelindab at gmail.com. Now, let's get into it. Today on the Vince Everett Ellison Show, we're going to talk about the Democratic Party getting involved in the dope game. That's what we're going to talk about today. Now, you guys make sure you subscribe, you like, you comment on this channel because they're going to try to block me like these uh, tech people always do. But we're not going to allow it. So they were going to talk about the Democratic Party getting involved in the dope game today on the Vince Everett Ellison Show. All right. Let's get this thing started. You know, I saw this uh, movie, Belly, years ago. DMX is playing on it. Playing this guy by the name of Bonds. Bonds made this statement. He said, ain't no money like dope money. But the Democratic Party has finally figured that out. Well, it's not finally. They've been in the dope game for a long time. And now they're going to make it legal. Yeah, the, you know, man, I've seen some messed up stuff in my time. Real messed up stuff in my time. I worked in the penitentiary, so I saw a lot of messed up stuff. I saw murders, I saw killings, I saw rapes, I saw drug overdoses. But I have yet to see anybody as low down as these Democrats are. I mean, they're already trapping your children in failing schools. They're aborting half your babies. They're letting drugs and fentanyl and illegals come across the border. Taking away your right to keep and bear arms to defend yourself. Won't let you pray to your God. God is not welcome here. That's what they say. You know, not, and this is what they're doing now. We're not talking about the history of slavery from 1800 to 1860, Confederacy from 1860 to 1865, 100 years of Jim Crow after that. And now, just when you didn't think them suckers could go any lower, what do they do? They want to get involved in the dope game. I know what y'all saying. Oh, this is lying. This is tripping. This is all we talking trash. He don't know what he's talking about. All right. You want me to show you? I'll show you. The Democratic Party has got these things that you might call, they call them um, drug and inge safe injection centers. Yeah. What are these places? These are places that the Democrats set up so that junkies on the street can come to these places and smoke crack and inject heroin and do it safely. They can buy it. They supply them with, the, with, with, the, with all the paraphernalia and all the stuff so they can take the stuff and lay down and just have a good time. Now, y'all know what? I'm going to tell you something. From where I've lived all of my life, and from what I know about this, that's called a crack house. It, it, you got. OK, warriors, we need to be praying. OK, there's a reason why I say warriors, because prayer warriors, that is crazy. Not only have they allowed the Democrats have allowed 
illegal immigrants to bring what they bring over to this country with different kinds of trafficking. And you know the kind that they won't let you say on some channels. They got drugs coming across the board. This is the same Democratic Party for those of you who think the parties have switched. They have not switched because there's too many celerity, similarities between the Democrats of old and the Democrats of right now, today, 2024. They have just gotten slicker with how they hide what they do. They pretend to be our friends, stab us in the back. Now they go into neighborhoods and allow, instead of them coming up with programs to get people off drugs, they giving you, oh, we're going to make it safe. We're going to give you a clean needle to kill yourself with. You know, this gun ain't dirty like your gun. It still got a bullet in it. And if you shoot it and put it to your head, there you go. So I don't want to hear it. Okay. Those of you who just want to vote Democrat know you're voting. I'm talking black people right now. You're voting against yourself. And you know what? All people, the Democrats are against Americans. All people. So if y'all want to just go ahead and vote Democrat because you believe the mainstream media, you go right ahead and do it. But this woman right here is done. Done. A, it is a government funded crack house. Let me tell you the definition of a crack house. This is the definition of a crack house. A crack house. A place where cocaine in the form of crack, is bought, sold, and smoked. That's a crack house. What is a drug injection center? Well, supervised injection sites or drug consumption rooms are a health and social response to drug-related problems. They are fixed or mobile spaces where people who use drugs are provided with sterile drug use equipment and can use illicit drugs under the supervision of trained staff. That's a fancy way of saying it's a crack house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Except for this crack house, it's federally funded. Now, how did we get here? Let me tell you how we got here. On the streets, people started bringing in cocaine, crack cocaine. People was using the crack cocaine on the streets because usually when you get on this stuff, you can't afford a house. They smoke it on the street. They fall out on the street. Police see them, take them to jail. When he start fiending bad enough, they're going to say, who'd you get the drugs from? And they're going to turn on the drug dealer. Tell them, well, this is where I got it from. They go pick him up. Well, the drug dealer got smart. He said, hmm, we need to find a way to allow these people to smoke this crack and not fall out on the street so that the police don't pick them up and take them downtown and they turn us in. So one of these young entrepreneurs got a splendid idea. He said, I'm going to rent a house and I'm going to have it where they can come to the house and buy the drugs and do the drugs in the house so that the police don't see them on the street. And I'm going to buy more than one of these houses. I'm going to buy them in almost every neighborhood in the community. Sometimes the houses are abandoned, but sometimes they're houses that they are renting. And you can come to that house, smoke the dope under their supervision, and just have a good old time. Well, Democrats got tired of these young black men making all this money. You know, they were just getting kickbacks and whatnot. Now, you know, I don't know if Vince Everett Ellison is going to get into this right now, but I will say I wondered how the drugs got into the black neighborhoods to begin with. And I read it was the CIA that brought it in to the black neighborhoods. Now, which political party more than likely had something to do with this based on what we know historically? I'm betting you is the Democrats. The, because right now the Democrats are funding these crack, federally funded crack houses, so it makes sense. The Democratic Party did not switch with the Republican Party. It's the same party that's been part of slavery, Jim Crow, KKK, the terrorist attacks, suppressing the vote, um, the, the same party. And they promote sexual immorality, which is, you know, they got the alphabet community. They got, they got, you know, every, they want God kicked out of schools and, and they got the, in some schools they have Satan clubs. So remember 
the Democratic Party, I don't care if y'all want to vote Democrat, go ahead and you do what you want to do, you're grown. But they are a party of perverts, psychopaths, and anti-Christian bigots, period. So those of us who know better, do better. You know better now. They might try to do something with this upcoming election. They just might because they are just that desperate right now. So prayer warriors get to praying and praying hard. Oh, now they want the full game. So they call theirs, they call theirs drug injection, injection centers, right? Just a crack house. Now I've read to you the definition of these two places. You can look them up yourself. They got them. They tried to open up a couple in Philadelphia, but they wouldn't let them do it. They got them in San Francisco. They got them in Seattle. Matter of fact, in Portland, Oregon. These low down people in Portland, Oregon allowed the whole city to turn into one big crack house for a whole year, maybe two years. They just allowed these poor people fentanyl, dope, you name it. They were doing it on the streets and drug deaths went up sky high. Now they want to pull it back. Because the people, not the politicians, the people said, no, we're tired of this. And guess who was behind the whole thing? They had this little proposition that went out, but people had to vote on allowing this to happen. You know who's behind it? George Soros and Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook. They were the ones behind this push in Portland to allow drugs to be legalized and all of these people died. I know you don't believe me, look it up. Look up what happened in Portland with all the drug legalization. Look up who was behind it. The Washington Post reported, the Washington Post reported, wasn't me. So if it's a lie, the Washington Post told it. They said that Zuckerberg and George Soros was behind. Now, why would they do that? Thousands of people have died behind this. Thousands of homes have been destroyed and families have been destroyed. Portland is in the shambles because of this. Anybody with any common sense would know that if you take away the punishment, the punishment behind doing drugs in public, you're going to have more drug consumption in public. And he did. And lives were completely destroyed. And thousands of people died. But are they stopping? No. Full speed ahead. Democrats are now in the dope game. All the cities where this stuff is happening, whether it be San Francisco, whether it be Portland, whether it be Philly, whether it be New York, and it's all controlled by Democrat politicians. Now, as I said before, how much lower can you go? And we still have people out there defending this evil institution. There are people that are listening at me right now, and I get the mail, I get the messages from y'all. Never have anything to do with any facts whatsoever. Just a lot of low down, dirty, mean stuff. I love reading it. <laughs> because the people who send it to me, I understand that you're stupid and you're ignorant. And you. I just want to. <laughs> I get comments too, Vince Everett Ellison. I, I, get, I get some of the comments. Most comments, guys, that you guys send me are more than 90% good. But that 8 to 10% where y'all just spewing out ignorant emotions, those of you. Those of you who just want to vote Democrat anyway because you believe the mainstream media who has lied to you and tried to paint the Republicans as racist, they are lying to you. Now, I get that there are some Republicans that are rhinos, which means Republican in name only. And some people, they got their side eye on about these Democrats switching to the Republican Party. You know, I did a video on Eric Johnson, mayor of Dallas, and a lot of the comments were suspicious of him because he's supposedly involved in a scandal. And I know what the scandal is, but I'll go into that more on another day. But the comments, do your homework. 
Don't just be mad because somebody just said something against the Democrats. Yeah, there are crooked Republicans, but there are a handful of solid, true Republicans that want what's best for this country. And when I have a choice between Democrats and Republican, guess which one I'm going to pick? You got it, Republican. Because right now, looks like the Dems are involved, the Democrats are involved in the dope game. Ridiculous. Caught up in your feelings. You feel some type of way. Because I'm talking about your Democrat party. Your feelings are hurt because I'm telling the truth. And you're wrapped up in the cognitive dissonance and Stockholm syndrome. You can't take the pain. You can't take the truth. What do you say? You can't handle the truth. <laughs> for the last 20, 30, 40 years of your life that you've been supporting Satan himself. You got some cities now that are legalizing prostitution. Yeah, trying to make it legal for your daughters to go out and sell themselves, sell their flesh on the street. We had a piece in the post today by Fareed Zakaria. He's a writer, but he's also on CNN. He was talking about, and his piece was interesting, about the secularization of the United States of America. Fareed said that America in the 70s and the 80s was an outlier amongst all the other nations in the world that we were industrialized, but we were still very, very religious. He said, but then something happened after 2007. He said that 70% of Democrats used to go to church two decades ago. Now it's about 46%. He said, we, our secularization and, our, and us giving up on religion hit an acceleration after 2007. What happened after 2007? Barack Obama became president of the United States. Oh, and they started pushing all of this LGBTQ, all of this abortion stuff. And y'all know what they got out there about Barack Obama and his orientation. You, I don't know if you guys know, there's a man out here named Larry Sinclair. Y'all can, it's on YouTube. You can, or any other platform, you can, or you can just Google it. You can just Google Larry Sinclair. I don't want to spread anything like that. I don't know if it's true or not, but I do know the legislation that was passed by under Obama was the promotion of all the alphabet community stuff, pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And I noticed too, around that time that more and more programs became even more overtly showing it in TV commercials, even commercials. You know, I noticed that. Because you know, you know, same-sex marriage became across the country legal June 2015. So just look at the legislation. That'll let you know a lot about a person. They started pulling God out of the public square. They started turning the races against one another. And now America is on a downward, downward spiral of self-destruction. In order to destroy America, you must have to take out God and then drive it mad. Abraham Lincoln said, that there will never be an army that could come across the Pacific or the Atlantic Ocean and take America by force. We must live together as free men or we will die by suicide. And right now, we are on that suicidal quest. It was John Adams that said, one of the founding fathers after they had finished the Constitution, he said, this Constitution is designed for a moral and a Religious people, it is wholly inadequate for any other. It was Machiavelli that said, the greatest princes in the world, they uphold institutions. They uphold marriage. They uphold religions. But the most detestable and the most horrible princes of the in the world are the ones that tear down institutions, tear down religions. And that's what the Democratic Party is. They've been tearing down every institution in this nation. That's right. Oh, it wasn't enough that they took took out the family. Mm -hmm. You know, with, with welfare, they knew what they were doing. Mm -hmm. Ralph Abernathy said that in, in the book, And the Walls Came Tumbling Down, he said that he saw the trends where the black families were being destroyed by the welfare system, and he went to see 
the people in the Black caucuses, people that he had helped get elected, and showed them the evidence of what it was doing to the Black family. And he said in the book, he said something curious happened. He said it pleased them to see three generations of Black people on welfare because they knew they could keep them under control. And that's when he endorsed Ronald Reagan for president in 1980 because they would not change it. And Ronald Reagan had done something in California to change it. Mm -hmm. we've, all, we've been sleeping with the enemy, y'all. Mm -hmm. And now, you best believe that in their push to get into the dope game, there are a whole lot of black Democrats with their hands in the kitty getting some money out of this. You want to know why they want to defund the police? <laughs> That's why they want to defund the police. You want to know why they want they don't want your child to get a good education? That's why, because if your child get a good education, they won't be demoralized. They won't be frightened all the time. They won't be poor or broke. Right? And so they have to inebriate themselves with these drugs. You know why they want to keep God out of the public square? Because our religion says that if you keep your mind on him, he'll keep you in perfect peace. Who? The Bible says, "Who, who, he who has been made free is free indeed. Know the truth, and the truth shall make you free." That's what the country needs. America needs to turn our eyes sincerely to the Lord, and that will fix, that will cure any kind of issue. That God will can break the chains of dope addiction, sexual immorality, and in and everything else, and and reconcile families back together. That's why the Dems, the Democrats, the evil demon rat party want to take God out of everything. Thing. And I told you they got some Satan clubs in some of these public schools too. I'll probably do a video on that. But if you don't have God, you're suicidal. You got to look for a bottle. You got to look for the dope. You got to look for sex or something to keep you going. Yeah, you can't be a true blue Christian and have a crack pipe in your mouth. You can be a true blue Christian that believes in Jesus Christ and got a, a needle sticking out your arm looking for heroin. Federally funded crack houses. That's what the Democrat Party is pushing now. I mean, I, I, I wonder what they're going to do next. Federally funded prostitute houses so you can get some type of uh, like a food stamp to go have sex with a prostitute or something. I mean, everything that's good for you, they try to stop. Everything that's bad for you, they try to accelerate. Oh, man, if you want to go to church, no. Want to get a gun to defend yourself against the hooligans in the street, no. Want to try to uh, uh, but bring in jobs so people can work? No. Want to get law and order so people can set safely in their homes? No. Oh, but if you want to keep a bad school going, they'll give you as much money as you can handle for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to have a Porn and pornography. They'll do anything for that. They'll give you money if a drag queen come and shake his behind and shows the children's faces at school. And if you want to try to get guns away from the, uh, the American people, get guns off the street, oh, they'll give you all the money for that. But they won't give you any. Uh -uh. If you want to defend yourself. Oh, if you want to bring illegals over, Joe Biden is sitting down on airplanes, sitting down on buses. Cut down the razor wire for you. Blow up the debt gum wall. But if you want to make that border legal, no. Not going to do that. Want to make it, make, want to make sure they're secure? Uh-uh. You're not going to do that. If you want to get off drugs or stop using them, forget that. But we'll do a safe house for you to come. And suck on that crack pipe as long as you, much as you want. Isn't it about time that you people woke up, woke up and just found out who you're dealing with? That's right, people. We need to wake up and know who we are dealing with. Now, you know what the Democrats are going to do? They're going to say, well, we got to give you a clean needle so you can inject it in yourself because I don't want y'all to get AIDS. 
<laughs> or any kind of other, you know, disease that can be transmitted by unclean needles. But the dope in the needle is going to kill them immediately if they get enough of it. I can't believe the foolishness. I can't not believe how blind I was. I... People, please. OK, you have to see what's going on. If you really want to help the black community, if you really want to help America, period, because we're all one race, right? All one race. If you really want to help America, just don't vote Democrat. You can vote whatever you want to. You know, you can even vote Democrat if you want to. But it's best that you just vote something else. Just vote something else. Do a write in, vote independent, libertarian, Republican, anything but Democrat. And you got some crooked politicians that are in other parties too, including Republican. We got to pray and know which Republican or which one to put in office, you know, because evil is on both sides. Unbelievable. You're dealing with an evil institution. I mean, these guys turned around and saw that dope coming on the streets Started seeing all these brothers riding around in big cars and all that gold around their neck. And they said, where's my cut? They got a cut. But just like all greedy people, the cut wasn't enough. They now want the whole thing. I mean, they want to do what the mafia did in Vegas. Vegas was this little one-horse town in the desert. They had a few shacks set up for people to come in, you know, roll dice, play a little cards, play a little poker. Bugsy Siegel set up the flamingo, and the thing started rocking. They started bribing the officials in the state, made the thing that had been illegal all over the country, almost all over the world, legal in Las Vegas. And Vegas became Vegas. Hmm. And now you can gamble on your iPhone. <laughs> it's not just legal in Vegas anymore. It's legal all over the country. And the same people that owned it back in the 1930s and 40s, the mob, they still own it now. Just under new management. Mm -hmm. They're doing the same thing with drugs, y'all. It's going to suck. Right? They're they already doing it with marijuana. They have these dispensaries. Marijuana dispensaries now in certain cities where you can just go and get a blunt, smoke it. They know what it does to the brains of children. They don't care. Now, they're going to give you help by buying a cigarette. Oh, you go buy a cigarette, they're going to want to put you in jail in, 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 in a few years. But they want to fix it where you can go buy all the hashish and all the marijuana and all the blunts you want and walk around stone cold inebriated. Cars running off the road, teachers coming in the classroom, high, children at school, high. They have a problem with that. Want to make it legal. We have made it legal. Now, since we've got, you know, I told you about the foot in the door technique. Let's start here. So we started with the marijuana. And now they want to go to heroin and crack cocaine. Lord have mercy. <laughs> and you people are going to allow it? You know what? You deserve whatever you get. He's right. For those of us who want to stick our head in the sand like an ostrich and we don't do anything about it by voting differently or demanding that things be done differently, we just go along with the lies that the mainstream media and the Democratic Party tells us to go along with it. We deserve what we get if we do that. I don't want to hear anybody else com complaining about anything because you vote the same doggone way. Look at what's going on in Village of Dalton with Tiffany Henyard calling herself the super mayor. They got Lori Lightfoot as a special investigator. <laughs> oh. 
And they're already saying that the investigation is not meeting standards. Look who they got. She was a terrible mayor herself. I just don't understand. I don't know what the trustees are thinking by getting her. I just don't get it. Because when I get on this channel and I tell you what these people are doing, and you hear it, and you still go and you vote for them. As I've said before, hell is a choice. Slavery is a choice. And you're choosing it every single day. I don't know what's wrong with you. It was easy for me. When I found out that the Democratic Party was part of abortion up to the ninth month, I was done with them. I was, I was completely done with them. When I found out that this is the party that wanted to castrate little boys and call them little girls and give double mastectomies to little girls and call them little boys, trapping children in failing schools, refusing to educate them, taking away your guns in war zones, And then when you find out that of all the terrible things that they've done, the most egregious and the worst of all of them is when they put a stumbling block in front of you that will not allow you to connect with your God. Mm -mm. Slow. Make it illegal for you to pray, to have a Bible. Lord have mercy. Hmm. I tell you this. I give you places where you can find it and look it up for yourself. I'll tell you about my books, The Iron Triangle, my book, 25 Lies, my book, Crime Inc., and my great documentary, Will You Go to Hell for Me? Mm -hmm. I give you tools to go to my website. Look it up. I have my talk shows. I have this show. Everything I tell you is true. Nevertheless, many of you will still go and vote for this evil institution. I tell you what, you're going to have to answer for it. Mm -hmm. If there's a God in heaven, and I know that there is, Amen. you are going to have to answer for this. A party that is evil enough to make a drug as dangerous and as murderous as crack cocaine and heroin legal on the street so that your children can grab it and go somewhere and use it under their supervision. Do you not understand how destructive and dangerous that is? Now, one of the reasons why people don't use drugs and use dope is because of what it does to you. You don't want to die on the street. You don't want to be out there laying out with, with dew and rain falling on you. You don't want to be homeless. You don't want any of these bad things to happen to you. And the Democrats say, don't worry about that. We're going to take the stigma off of it so you can just use all the dope you want. Going to bring it in by the truckload. And give your son and your daughter a safe place to use it. And they don't have to tell you anything about it. Federally funded crack houses. Never thought I'd hear of such a thing in the United States of America. And I never thought I'd hear about something like this, but I also never thought I would hear about changing a child's gender behind the parents' back. I never thought I would hear something like that. I never thought we would get to the point where we didn't know what a woman was or what a man is. You know, I never thought we would ever, I mean, this was not heard of more than 20 years ago. I mean, they've got these different pronouns now. I just never thought we would, that wasn't even a thought when I was a young kid or when I was in college. We, we just never thought these things, you know, I. Ugh. I don't know how more demonic the Democrat Party is going to get. 
I called them the demon rat party. Demons. And they got the right mascot, a jackass. But I just, I, it's unbelievable to me. And they're after the kids, guys. They are after the kids. Our children, our grandchildren. This is serious. This is nothing to be playing with. We need to do what we need to do, whatever kind of job we need to get a second and third job to get our kids out of these failing public schools. Try our best to get a trade or go back to school to so that we can get off public assistance because they make you a slave to public assistance, giving you just enough to squeak by. But you're never really thriving. You're just surviving. And that's like you're on the plantation. Give, give you just enough. And if they say they're going to raise your benefit or give you more in food stamps, you think they're helping you. No, they're helping you stay where you are. Understand that. And we can't be lazy. We got to get out there. We got to work and do what's right. Be, be, be people that love God with all of our hearts, mind, soul, and strength. Love our families. Work hard. Work hard. and But do it the right way. Work honestly as unto the Lord. This country is going downhill and some things are just going to happen no matter who's in office. So for those of you who keep looking at Trump like he's a savior, he's not Jesus. He's a flawed man. But I do believe God is using him. That I do believe. But keep him in his proper perspective. God is number one and only God saves. But, you know. You never thought you'd hear that, Beth. You never thought that you'd hear that Obamacare would pay for the sex change operation of a child, which, yeah, it does. Look it up. Yeah. Got to say this, as he said, the um, change of a child. A lot of people out there believe that Michelle is a Michael. I ref I. <laughs> I haven't found anything that's concrete on that, and I don't even want to believe that. If you guys know of where I can find some concrete evidence on that, drop it in the comments below. We have a finite amount of money in our healthcare system. Children need glasses, children need braces, children need operations, children just need to have a checkup. But instead, they're going to take that money and give it to a grown man that says, I want to be castrated. And I want to have to take hormones for the rest of my life so I can walk around thinking that I'm a woman. Instead of getting that guy some psych the psychological help that he needs, the Democrat Party takes advantage of this person's trauma and leads his soul to hell and destruction. I'd be all for getting them psychological help because that's what the person needs. They've gone through something in their lives. Oh, but not the Democrat Party. You know, they're going to take advantage of that and they're going to tell him that everybody else is crazy. He's the one that makes sense. Now, if you walked into a hospital and said, hey man, I think I'm a chicken. I want you to cut off my arms and give me wings. There's only not going to do that. Well, I think I'm a bull. I want you to cut a holes in my head and put horns on the top of my skull. Ah, we're not going to do that. But go in and say, I'm a man and I think I'm a woman. I want you to castrate me and put silicone breast implants in my chest and call me Susie. That'll be $100,000, sir. People, this is insanity. This is demonic. This is evil. We have to be willing to call it that. How much lower can these people go? And how much lower will you allow them to go? This is a story I heard. It was a movie I saw. It's a Sam Stanford prison experiment. Is interesting. You can see it. You can rent it, I'm sure. But it's a true story. This um, psychiatrist took his students and he put them into a part of the, of the building and they simulated making that part of the building a penitentiary. 
And they made some of the students correctional officers, they made some of them inmates. And he wanted to see if normal human beings could turn into Nazis, if they can turn evil, if you gave them enough power and authority. Sure enough, at the end of the experiment, he allowed them, he allowed the officers to understand that they could do whatever they wanted. There could be no holes barred. You can get away with anything you want to get away with. And it was amazing what those officers end up doing. It got so bad that the psychiatrist put a stop to it, an abrupt stop to it, had to end it. He was amazed at how passive the inmates had become. He was also amazed at how aggressive the officers had begun, had become. So they were doing a post-mortem to see what psychologically had happened to these people. And it was this interesting dialogue that occurred. One of the most sadistic officers, the one that had become the craziest one of all, was sitting there. And the inmates who he had taken advantage of started screaming at him, saying, man, what happened to you in there? Why did you go so crazy? I mean, why did you just flip out like you did? What was going on with you? And the guy said, I was doing my own experiment. They said, you were doing your own experiment. What type of experiment were you doing, man? What type of freaking experiment were you doing? He said, my experiment was, I wanted to see how far I could go before anybody would stop me. And nobody did. That's where the Democratic Party is right now. Oh, wow. Okay, so how much farther, those of you who vote Democrat, how much farther will the Democrat Party have to go before you wake up and say, you know what, we got to put a stop to this? How much farther? Because they ain't about going as far as they could go. Well, I know they haven't gone all the way, but they're trying to get there because one of the things I know they say they're trying to do a social communism. They're trying to separate it from regular communism to, a, I believe, a social communism. I believe I heard AOC talk about it. And they're just prepping us to go full out communism is what they're doing. And I told you guys in another video that the current Biden administration, yes, our United States government under Jim Crow Joe Biden, has given a lot of our farmland in America to the Chinese near military bases. Yes, they have. And now they've got illegals coming across the border, taking the place of American citizens who have been paying taxes. So I want everybody to sit down, you know, sit there and let that marinate. OK, because this is what's going on right now. The demon rat party. They're going to see how far they can go before anybody stops them. You think they're just going to stop with the dope houses? They're not going to stop telling you every one of your children injecting. And then they're going to have them prostituting. And then they're going to start getting involved in going after your younger children. They're not going to stop until we make them stop. Hitler didn't stop till we made him stop. Mussolini didn't stop till we made him stop. Crazy people are not going to stop. They don't know how to stop themselves. And these people are evil or insane. And you have to stop them. All I can do is ring the bell. That's all I can do for you, player. <laughs> people tried to ring the bell about Hitler. They tried. Y'all want to talk about Trump? He crazy, he Hitler. Psh. Donald Trump ain't talking about putting dope houses in your neighborhood. He's, he's, talking, he's not talking about taking your guns away so you can't defend yourself against the government or from hoodlums. He's talking about allowing children to get out of these failing schools with school choice. He's talking about making sure that that border is secure so that the fentanyl and the drugs does not come over. He's talking about getting the government out of the way of you and your relationship with God so you can pray again. So you can send your children to schools again that match the ideology of their mother and their fathers instead of going against it. He's talking about stopping these wars all over the world. 
where the Ukrainians are being slaughtered and the Russians are being slaughtered and the Israelis and the and the and the and the Palestinians are being slaughtered. The world is on fire. And what is Biden doing? What are the Democrats doing? Open up dope houses in your neighborhoods, allowing fentanyl and illegals to come all around the country, locking your children in schools. They don't educate them. Snatching grabs, fighting in the street. You can't turn on the TV or watch X or, 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 or YouTube without seeing Joe just, just acting a fool, just breaking in the store, stealing stuff. Wonder why Biden losing? That's why he's losing. Well, the economy is doing well. Everybody got a job. Man, but you got people kicking in your doors. You got illegals leaping on your lawn. You got people doing snatching grabs all over the place. You got carjackers where people just getting shot. Mm -hmm. One of the saddest stories I ever read in my life, this guy with special needs only had two fingers on each one of his hands. He got into a scuffle with a guy in Washington, D.C., and some young girls, all of them younger than 15, I saw him push the guy down and they said, can we fight him? And the guy said, yeah. And these girls beat this man to death. Mm. Mm. Just beat him to death. He's special needs. And they just beat him to death and had fun doing it. <sighs> We're living through an inversion of virtue and morality. Well, good is bad and bad is good. Right is wrong and wrong is right. We've got a society that is so perverted and so retrobate. They don't even know the difference any longer. I'm telling you today that the Democratic Party is putting crack houses in your communities. I'm telling you today, they are sexualizing and sexually grooming your children. I'm telling you today, they're taking away your right to pray to your God for you to keep in bare arms to defend yourself against them when they come for you. And I'm telling you, they're replacing you by bringing illegals across that border and selling them in your neighborhoods. You have a decision that you have to make. Amen. Whether you're going to be the biggest fool in the world and allow them to destroy you, or whether you're going to stand up as a free man and a free American and say, no more, I'm tired. And take your nation back. That's right. So I want you to go to my website. Go to thisspeakstruth.com. Mm -hmm. There you will find some of the things that I've been working on. You'll see my great documentary, Will You Go to Hell for Me? It asks the question I'm still asking you right now. Will you go to hell for the Democrat Party? Some of you are. So I ain't talking to you. If you want to go to hell, be expeditious about it and just go. <laughs> Not going to run behind you. Get this documentary. Share it with your friends. It'll tell you things you've never heard before about this party and why it's the most dangerous institution, the most evil institution in the history of the world. My first book was The Iron Triangle. Book Authority gave this book number 61 on the greatest political books ever written in the history of the world. It talks about how the black preacher, the black politician, and the black civil rights worker are only conduits between white liberals and the black community. How they're getting paid to keep you under their heel. Yeah, they're the iron triangle. They're the enemy in your midst that you have to look out for. Get this book. It's irrefutable. It'll give you the information you need to get these people off of you. Then you get 25 Lies, one of the best-selling books ever. It talks about the 25 of the Democratic Party's worst, the damnable lies, how to refute them. It's a handbook on how to defend yourself and educate yourself against the wiles of this evil institution. And my latest book, Crime Inc., talks about how the Democratic Party uses these mafia tactics to keep their power and keep their control here in the United States of America. And you can look and it teaches you how to look out for them and defend yourself against them. People, I am here to wake you up. Wow, guys. That was really the um <laughs> end of that um that that was amazing 
That is a lot of information. And some of you, I know you didn't know that. I know you had absolutely no idea. But I was, you guys see, I'm very animated with my reactions and my facial expressions and everything like that. But wake up. He's here to wake us up. God is using me as a voice in my small community of warriors that will probably grow and grow and grow. I don't know what God has planned for me, but I am willing. You know, there's a saying in the Bible, here I am, Lord, send me. And we have to be willing to be that voice. How much longer are we going to let the enemy just trample on us and our children and our grandchildren? Are we just going to lay there and believe the lie? Are we going to believe that the political party switched? Stop being silly. Wake up. I was silly. I was very unknowledgeable of things. And I'm still learning. Nobody knows everything. You guys help teach me. I help teach you. We teach each other. But we are one people, one nation under God. And it is supposed to be with liberty and justice for all. That's what it is supposed to be. But we can't be free if we're enslaved to drugs. If we're enslaved to not praying to the one true God. God is real. He is awesome. He sent his son Jesus to die for us. And we need to surrender to him. Once we get that part right, the rest will follow. You guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, follow me on Rumble. Chat with me, Linda B. as all one word. Warriors, be blessed and march on.